Hello Capricorn, thanks for watching. Let's do some three card tarot for the sign of uh, Capricorn at the new moon on the 4th of May 2019. That is the 4th of May 2019, Saturday the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. Sign, uh, sign of Capricorn, three cards for Capricorn please. And here we go. Okay, so... Right, interesting. And we've got a significator. The second time in a row, a significator has fallen out. Okay, let's just put the others out of the way there so they don't interfere. And here we go, Capricorn. Goodness me. Um, now then, I'm actually seeing a pattern here going through just about all the signs, starting with Aries here. So let's begin. Here's the first card. It's the Nine of Cups. Okay, now um, Alice, in because this is the Wonderland tarot, Alice in Wonderland and kind of through the looking glasses uh, in it as well. Um, so we've got some of that story playing into it. And this is the caterpillar who is only three inches tall. So when Alice complains to him that she is only three inches tall, he doesn't really take it seriously. So this is a point in time when things aren't adding up exactly, but it does suggest a lot of comfort. And uh, in the older traditions, they used to call this the wish card. And uh, that's a really good way to look at it, actually, because look at the golden sun in the background, okay? There's no leaves on the trees in the foreground. Somehow, I mean, there's ferns everywhere, there's evergreens about, and some things are evergreen. So maybe this is something from the past coming back. It depends who you are, Capricorn. The, uh, the energy kind of addresses itself differently to different people. Many uh, video, many people watch these videos. I wish many videos watched people. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Very Alice in Wonderland idea, that. But many people watch these videos. Um, so rather like karma, these things will address themselves to you individually. And, and I'm sure will make some sense to you at the moment, Capricorn, because it is this kind of time, okay? But it does suggest that uh, if you wish for something, a wish can be granted. So do be careful what you wish for, though, okay? Because the significator that came out is the magician, who is also the caterpillar, actually. And a look at all the symbology. Magic is in control, okay? This is all about magic as we go through this reading. It really is. Uh, we've got uh, two minor arcana cards, one major, and, of course, uh, the magician, one of the most sort of major uh, arcana cards you can get, really, number one. Um... In control of his own destiny as the magician, but I, well, although this would often mean something to do with you, I actually want to say that uh, this is there's an outside influence around this as, as well, okay, and it's a helpful one. It is someone who can help Capricorn. Okay, so Nine of Cups, you know, don't be afraid to make a wish. Fear is not where it's at, but really it isn't. But um, in terms of being careful what you wish for, just be careful what you wish for, really, okay? Because things are moving forward. The middle card of this spread now is number zero. It's the Fool. So we're actually in one number back there. But I think we're further forward, really, because we're seeing the uh, magician in Alice begin to come out here. Uh, she's setting off on the Fool's journey. It's number zero. It's an absolute beginning. But that means, you know, a new beginning is coming to you, Capricorn. And... Um, <clears throat> The magical thing about this is just that Alice is taking some kind of risk. It's not entirely clear from this card, uh, but the, uh, the Cheshire Cat here is trying to persuade her not to do this, you know, stay, stay as you are, because this world does like to keep us as we are, Cappy. It really does. And uh, that is a Cappy thing, really, isn't it? Because it's much, much easier um, to see things clearly for a Capricorn if things are steady and if you actually feel that you can hang on. Well, know that you can, Cappy, OK? That's what the Cheshire Cat is in this card for on this occasion in this reading, OK? Um, but you can have a wish, you know, and it can work out. And the magic is there, Cappy. So don't hold yourself back, OK? Be willing to take those steps. Difficult ones, but you know, you'll be able to hang on. I mean, you know, things can go wrong in life, but you're not going to let that happen, are you, Cappy? Mm? That's the way we've got to look at this, OK? It really is. And uh, the magician keeps on coming back to me from the back of the table here. I have to keep looking at it. Um... And basically, there are more things in heaven and earth than we can ever know about or understand about. Um, and the beginning of that is a famous phrase. I can't remember the last part of that phrase. But I'm saying there are more things in heaven and earth than we would ever know about 
and even the magician here, who is very much in control of his own destiny and is able to grant wishes, actually, uh, backing up the Nine of Cups thing here. Maybe some legalities when we get the Nine of Cups, actually. <clears throat> but I'm not saying that in a negative sense at all, you know. Sometimes you can kind of sue for PPI or something, get your money back from some horrible people who've been taking it from me. You never know, that kind of thing is possible, definitely. I, know, I rule nothing out in terms of magic, but it is all very karmically based, okay? Uh, because a lot of the magic here is the magic in you, yeah? It's, it's a major card. The major cards in the major arcana tend to be about you and what's happening to you. The minor arcana tend to be people around you, things around you, quite possibly you as well, but more to do with situations you're in and uh, the happenstance of what the universe is throwing towards you at a given time. Excuse me a second, I must have a quick drink. Mm -hmm. ah. We are blessed with spring water coming out of the taps here. Really lovely, but um, it's a difficult place to live for other reasons, not least because of uh, trying to get online. It's a really bad internet connection, but I'm grateful and delighted to be on. And the third of these cards for Capricorn for the new moon in Taurus on May the 4th, 2019 is the Ten of Wands. And this really does remind me, uh, Cappy, of the... Um, the Taurian nature of this new moon and that influence is going to be present and is going to be with us right through until we actually reach the full moon mid-May, okay? Uh, and it's very, very grounded when we've got Taurus involved. Uh, it's just, you know, that is a very earthy energy, basically. And here we've got the Ten of Wands. Uh, the Wands have everything to do with projects and kind of using your skills in life to make things kind of work better. More to do with the uh, the real world that we see with the round things at the top of our face than it is with the third eye vision stuff. But that has been more than catered for here, I think. This is about keeping it real, okay? It's the third card of the spread, so it suggests that things are going to get better and better, but... She's going to have a reality check. And that's all it is. It's not a negative thing. It's not stopping anything. But um, the, uh, the guinea pig here, right, is uh, removing Alice from uh, the White Rabbit's house in the story. And uh, this doesn't mean you, this is people around you, this is kind of cutting cords up to a certain extent with uh, with people who aren't serving you, with situations that aren't serving you really, or perhaps we could say with people in situations that no longer serve you, okay? And the great thing about cutting a cord on that basis is that uh, if you cut the cord that you still need, that cord will grow back every time. It's really reliable thing that, okay? Uh, so I'm, I'm seeing a need to cut certain cords in order to be able to get on with things. But these are ideas that are coming in at the moment and will take shape in the next couple of weeks, most certainly. The most positive one I'm looking at here at the moment, though, is the Nine of Cups. Absolutely lovely card to get, sort of card, where you can make a wish. And I am making a wish at the moment, guys, for more subscribers, please. I need a thousand subscribers to be able to go live from my mobile device. I've tried from other things and there isn't, the internet just doesn't work fast enough. But it works from my mobile um, and I need a thousand subscribers to be able to keep doing that. Uh, and that means then I'll be able to do mediumship because I'm a spiritualist medium, I work with a spirit guide. We can do a lot more, we can give a lot more if you're actually there on chat and uh, we can actually have a conversation as we go uh, because that, that's the way uh, mediumship works, you know. Uh, your loved ones on the other side no doubt want to get through uh, from time to time. And uh, so, you know, they'll come in through a medium, but it's when you respond uh, and they're aware that there's some back and forth with the medium, that more tends to come in. So please subscribe, guys. And thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, everyone who's subscribed already, because the subscriptions really have gone up. Uh, this month, at the end of May, we're doing this subscriber giveaway, this Sodalite necklace. It's an 18-inch Sodalite necklace with some glass beads on. A bit of Tibetan silver for some, uh, some bling there. And a silver lobster, well, silver plated lobster clasp. Okay, so subscribe now for a chance to win that, my friends. The button is down there somewhere. And uh, tap the bell that's next to it to make sure you don't miss anything. You'll get all the notifications that way. Okay, so now then, let's uh, get back to spiritual matters and uh, pull another card. Now, we'll have an oracle card to uh, see a little bit more detail into where we're going with this spread here. 
with this reading. Okay, so this is more clarity, please, for the sign of Capricorn for the new moon in Taurus, May 2019. Okay. Oh, one kind of turned itself over there, so we'll have that one as well. Right, okay. First of all, the Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose. Now, I haven't had this deck long and I've never pulled this card before, so let's see what it says. Divine Intervention is coming. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Now, that is great, actually, for Divine Intervention because that gives us a little bit more clarity on the whole idea of making a wish, okay? This card also says that comforts should be present in some form at the moment, one way or another. He is a very, very comfortable character. It may mean we need to come out of our comfort zone, though. So listen to the Divine Director, okay? He's up here, really. He's your inner voice, or at least he's what's behind it. And uh, Divine Intervention is occurring. So in terms of being careful what you wish for, not quite such an issue, okay? There's help coming in here, because things have just been rather too confident confused haven't they which uh, I see in this card as well actually and also as we look at the fool you know the fool's journey uh, she is placing a lot of trust in the divine there okay so really you know understand guys that all of the wacky things that seem to be happening in the world at the moment uh, have some purpose behind them I don't know what I'd, I sometimes wonder how these things possibly could be good to be honest but the difficulties of life have a way of ironing themselves out if we visualize if we believe if we know that forward movement is possible and it always is friends always is okay so here's the other card that fell out this is dwell cool dharma unfolding remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness uh, this guy is about my age, but he looks a lot happier than me, and he's got a real nice golden aura, okay? So I'm going to say this, guys, for Cappy, is pretty much representing yourself. It's your connection to spiritual matters as well, as the, you know, the di Divine Director has made obvious. Uh, but Dharma is unfolding, and so, you know, making a wish at this moment is going to be taking you in the right direction, as long as you keep, you know, ask the angels, ask the angels, they're always there waiting to help, why ever not, okay, it helps with the fool's journey, one step at a time to happiness, and in terms of happiness, your projects, your goals, what are they, which way are you going, things will be clearer in a couple of weeks time, and then we'll get the full moon, and we'll have a load more energy behind that, won't we? Okay, folks. Well, Cappy, thank you very much for watching. I will be back soon with yet more readings. Uh, meanwhile, have a great time. Peace. Please subscribe. I'll say it again if you haven't already. Um, it really does help me a lot if people subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. I love to share the journey with you guys. I'm sure YouTube's going to iron the glitch out soon so I can actually read your comments, which would be wonderful. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Share me around the internet if you can. Have a good one though, Cappy, okay? Peace out and I'll see you soon. Bye.